folks, Ben here from Lancasters and the property industry is alive and kicking. It is now Friday the 15th of May. We had some major updates to our industry early in the morning of Wednesday the 13th, which you've probably heard about on the news. And we've had, we've been inundated with inquiries. Uh, I was meant to do this sooner, but just been too busy. Uh, and lots of reoccurring questions. So I thought I would cover off some of the most common ones. People have been asking why estate agents are allowed out to do what they are, what they can do, whether we are allowed to do viewings, whether we are allowed to do valuations, and whether we are allowed to open our offices. So they're the four most common questions we get, and I thought I'd cover those off with you, with you now. First one, uh, mainly via social media, people have been asking, how come estate agents can come and visit my house, but my brother, sister, mum can't? Short answer to that is, I don't know. I didn't write the regulations. Um, I've read them. I've read every every page of the 30 page uh, document by the government. Um, it's their risk assessment, not mine. Uh, we are allowed to do it with certain precautions and no doubt the other things will release over time. So uh, don't treat the messenger on that one, I'm afraid. We are allowed and uh, we'll be doing so for those who wish to have us. If you are unsure, just wait, that's fine. We'll come around later, it's okay. So uh, viewings, yes, they are very much back on. There are certain precautions we have to take on viewings. First of all, you are required uh, as a viewer, you are required to do a online virtual viewing first to uh, eliminate anybody who uh, might not be suitable for a particular property. So that has to be done in the first instance. That's actually part of the government's legislation. It's in there. So uh, your agents are required to be able to offer a virtual viewing first as a sort of first layer of filter. Uh, and then the physical viewing can go ahead on those uh, occasions. We will meet you at the property, stay two meters away. We will go into the property first. Any cleaning that's required will be taking care of that. Opening all doors, turning on all lights so you don't have to touch anything inside the property. Maintaining two meters distance throughout the viewing. And then we will do most of our sort of talking through outside the property afterwards where we're out in the fresh air and, and can give each other a, a nice bit of space. But the physical viewings are very much back on. We um, will also be carrying, purely voluntarily, we'll be carrying uh, some PPE. It's not a requirement, but we will have face masks and gloves available if you need them on a, on a voluntary basis. The only mention in the regulations to PPE is, is for um, the potential use of face masks if two meters can't be achieved in distancing. We're confident we can do the two meters anyway, but we will be bringing those with us as a, as a sort of bound basis sort of level as well, just purely on a, a voluntary basis. Valuations, yes, they are back on. We have been inundated with people, uh, you know, not surprisingly, we've got two months worth of stifled demand. Uh, people are asking us to come out and value their homes for sales or for rentals uh, now, that the, uh, now that we can. Yes, we can. There are n pretty much no restrictions on that as long as we're all sensible. So the, the main one is, of course, we have to stay two meters apart. It, we can go into empty and occupied homes. Occupied homes are back on, so we can, uh, we can go into occupied homes. The only reason we can't is if you or the person occupying the property, if it's tenanted, the person occupying is uh, suffering symptoms, obviously, um, or, or doing some kind of you know understandable shielding that's pretty common sense stuff really um you know imagine sort of pre pre corona virus we wouldn't be going into people's homes if they had a tummy bug either um so it's exactly the same as that really just yes being really sensible just applying it to the to the current situation so but other than that we are allowed out and about to come and see you and your lovely properties in person which is great um in all instances you know i'd love to be able to shake your hand and, and have all the usual sort of chat stuff, but unfortunately we do have to keep our, our two meters apart. But other than that, it is absolutely sort of, you know, business as usual when we're out and about in your, in your homes. Uh, fourth one on my list is about offices. You, we are, as an industry, allowed to open our offices and trade from our offices again, but there are some quite strict stipulations on that. We can't just open the doors to the public. Um, I think, there were certainly locally a, f a couple of agencies who 
jumped a bit too soon, tried to physically open and then realized that they weren't allowed to and had to close the doors again. Um, it, it's, it's really quite categoric in the in the regulations that as my, I would love to open my office and, and welcome you all in, but offices have to maintain two meter social distancing at all times. That's between staff and between clients. And you can only visit an office on appointment. Okay, that's really, really important to, to bear in mind. So I am more than happy and would love to see you in your, in your homes um, or in our office. So I will come down and meet you in our, in our office, no problem at all, but it has to be by appointment. It's not me, I would love to be there 24 seven if I could, uh, but the regulations require it to be by appointment um, so that we don't have unnecessary foot traffic just wandering in and out okay it's for your safety as well as uh, you know good of the good of the nation and all that uh, so yes the takeaways from today are that uh, we are very much open for all normal agency activities viewings valuations and all the stuff we've been dying to do over the last eight weeks and getting out there and seeing you all again albeit with some sensible precautions so very much look forward to uh, seeing you all soon